Hey guys, this is Olivia from Fashion Tech Sports and this is my tutorial on how to make a bib front opening for sailor trousers. The sailor trousers pattern is on my blog. I'll leave the link on the description below this video. So let's begin. Step one is cutting the pieces and scrap fabric is fine here. Once you finish that, you can finish cutting the tips of the front dart and diagonally here. Step two is stitching and overlocking the center front. Then fold the seam allowance to one side, no need to iron it, just open it gently as you top stitch over it. Step three is attaching the facing, which is much longer than the front of the trousers. So the first step here is sewing it to the dart, like this. And once you do that, you see where we did that diagonal cut by the tip of the dart and that's so you can press your seam open like this. Now I'm going to make the welt that goes on the side, fold the seam allowance on the bottom and find this notch here to know where I need to fold it. It's going to look like this and I need to bring it outside organize it a little bit and press it nicely so it looks like this with the wrong sides looking like this and now I'm going to attach the rest of the facing I could have done this before but I prefer to do the welts first so now I just need to fold where the notches are Find the center front notch, stitch it, bag it out, and press it. You can use a metal ruler or an awl or pencil to do the corners. So the bib part is done, and now it's time to attach the pockets. The denim pocket is where the pocket opening goes, so you just have to fold it and stitch it. It's not going to be attached anywhere. And the other side of the dart is going to be attached to the pocket bag in calico. I made the seam allowance on the pocket bag a little bit wider and it'll look like this. You have to stitch until this little corner and the tip of the dart is going to be a little bit slanted because of how we cut it on step one. And once you stitch it, it's going to look like this with the seam allowance covering the, the dart. And if you want, you can even top stitch here and it's going to prevent it from opening. Once you're done, it should look like this with these seams matching. And now it's time for the finishing touches, like top stitching the welts. I just did it on the bottom. Um, get rid of these threads there. Don't leave them there. And then I stitch it pretty much inside the seam, so it's very hard to see, especially if you use a similar color thread. And the pocket, I just stitch it and then overlocked around it, a little bit rounded on that corner over there. This is how it looks on the inside. And one thing that I like to do is leave it halfway finished so I can check it inside 
and see how I did it and how I can make it better the next time I do it. For example, here, it's not that clean. And this is a basic bib opening. If you want to make it like the original vintage piece, there are more pictures on my blog and also flat sketches that you can use as reference. And here is a variation with zippers. I'm gonna open and here you can see inside. Pocket bags could be a little bit bigger. Inside they're attached to the side seam allowance. And here you can see there's a very little facing because I didn't have enough fabric, but that pocket bag should be all in denim. So this is my tutorial. Now you can go and try to make it, create your own designs. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. See you next time. Bye.